Have you went to fix your PS3 yellow light of death and found this? Don't worry, you're, it's not dead. This is right here, basically the heat plate came off and it's went up here to the, uh, as you can see, the um, uh, heat sink up here on the fan and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Yours probably won't have paste like this, but I've already fixed this a couple of different times. So uh, I'll show you right, right here, but uh, that right there is the RSX chip. This is me cleaning it away with some 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. I would not use anything less than 91%. Um, it's about two, two, two or three bucks at Walmart. Uh, what I'm cleaning it off with is a paper towel. Make sure you have plenty of paper towels on hand. Uh, some people might frown on using a paper towel, but it's worked for me. So you got to clean it all off around the chip, on the chip, around the chip, and then on the memory chips on each of the four corners of the uh, actual CPU. But uh, there you can see my alcohol and uh, basically you got to clean it up around the uh, purple there that's the the main video chip uh, got to get uh, have some q-tips with some alcohol on it uh, and of course like I said you won't see this uh, probably the first time you might see a little bit but you need to make sure and clean all your paste off and what basically what happens is is that there is a uh, a uh, on the, each of the four corners those are 512 megabyte memory chips and uh, they have a, an adhesive on it and the way this is a 40 gigabyte model too just so you know but uh, basically uh, what happens is is that uh, it, it just the the heat uh, whatever you call that heat I, I guess it's a heat sink or a heat plate it basically comes apart and uh, so basically you can get some adhesive and probably stick it back on the chips but I just do it this way because the first time I did this uh, I didn't get enough thermal grease on the chip and it ended up overheating uh, and right here's the chip here's what it looks like after you pull it off and what you probably want to do is get a knife or something and kind of pry it off on the edge there where the fan uh, heat sink is and I, right now I'm cleaning it off with uh, isopropyl alcohol that's the bottom side that's the side that goes back down on the chip and you can see that uh, but uh, just make sure and have plenty of paper towels on hand some q-tips and the 91 percent alcohol um, and clean it real good and you might want to wear some gloves because this stuff will get on your hands and it'll stay there for a little bit uh, but uh, anyway like I said I'm just cleaning it off here with some alcohol and a paper towel and uh, Kind of boring right now, but you can see, I just want to show everybody, you know, that I cleaned it off and can't really see it right now, but that's where it says RSX and that's your, vi basically your video processor, um, which, uh, you'll see it here in a second. I'll, you can see the RSX now and basically what you're going to want to do is after you, whenever you go to put this heat plate back on, you want to, uh, line it up there. You can see the backside. You can see, you know, that's where the I put the thermal compound and all that. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, apply the thermal compound to the chip. Well, actually, all five chips. Uh, this is just what I do. Um, there's really uh, nothing uh, out of the ordinary here. I mean, you're not you you don't have to be real ginger with it uh, or gingerly, I should say, but you do want to be you know a little careful but just to get you the arctic silver 5 is what i use it's about 15 bucks on ebay for i think it's a 12 gram tube um and uh you might as well go ahead and get the 12 gram tube because i've had to re uh, flow my solder uh or you know do the the heat gun thing probably about uh five times already but here i go i'm putting it on uh the uh thermal grease here on uh the um, chip itself and uh, I'll show you what I do you take take a credit card you know so, something some some places send you a spreader um, but uh, I just got a blood donor card that I'm gonna you know smear it on with and you just smear on a at least what here's what I do I smear on a uh, thin coat uh, and then I'll show you what I do here in a second but uh, I just kind of drag it along and that that the center chip is a little bit lower than your memory chips on the corners. 
So uh, I just pull the thermal compound. It's pretty, you know, like I said, a pretty thin coat. You can't see through it. Uh, you know, like some people say to put it on where you can see, you almost see through. But uh, this, uh, I don't do that. So I just, I guess I lay it on kind of thick. And the good thing about the Arctic Silver 5 is that it's non-conductive. So if it does get on those little uh, capacitors down in there, and you need to be careful when cleaning those and make sure you clean them good with the alcohol and a Q-tip. But uh, it's not going to conduct any electricity and short the capacitors out. Or anything like that but as you can see I'm smearing it out get it all over the chip and again like I said the reason why I do this is because the first time I did it I didn't I just uh, put a glob right in the center and smeared it out or you know push push the heat plate back down on it and it didn't get all over the chip so this way and I, I put a little bit extra on there just kind of like right in the center, right close to the length of the chip. And I've done this, like I said, about five times now. Hadn't had any problems with it. But you'll see I put a, do a dab there. And then I'm going to put a dab on each of the four chips uh, to the side. Like I said, you can get some adhesive and tr try to reattach it. I mean, because you will use a lot of thermal compound this way. But this is the way I feel most comfortable with it. And I don't care to spend the money on the thermal compound unless I spend getting up to you know 100 to 200 dollars then I'll just buy another PS3 but uh, anyways you see here I've got that on there and I'm going to take my plate and set it back down and you want to make sure that the writing is the you know matches up the RSX writing matches up with the cell as far as uh, the orientation uh, of the lettering because of uh, the, the heat plate from the RSX chip, as you can see. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to set it down on here and uh, press down gently. And what you'll want to do this, uh, press it down, and then then you're ready to do your reflow with your heat gun and everything. Do I would not recommend taking this, leaving this heat plate off and doing your reflow. I'd go ahead, put it back on because you do have small capacitors and. There you go. You're ready to do it and ready to rock and roll. So I uh, hope this helps out. Thanks for stopping by. We'll talk to you later.